Hello, hello everybody. It's Jeff Gibby over at Metastack. I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> uh, we're going to go ahead and kick this off uh, with a legal disclaimer. As always, today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastack and accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock should have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. So there you go. Uh, today, as you know, you signed up for it. Uh, we have Ryan Capaccio here. He's going to be doing a class. Uh, uh, what I will say about Ryan is I love kind of the way that um, he's taken some pretty fairly complex uh, methodologies uh, that he uses to trade and really simplify them in a way that's very, very easy to understand. And uh, it's a very, very kind of cool piece of uh, technology he's put together uh, pretty much by himself. So Ryan, I forgot to, uh, I should add that we, we did help a little bit, uh, <laughs> but Ryan, let's go ahead and get you on here. Hello? Okay. Yep. All right. There you go. Okay. Good. Uh, good. Uh, you got a quiet. It was like I could just hear him a second ago. All right. It's all yours. Perfect. You guys can see my screen. I can. We can see your screen. All right. Well, let's get into it. Like Jeff said, my name's Ryan Capasio, and I'm co-founder of Simplicity Trading Systems as well as managing partner of the Capacio Trading Company. So a little bit about myself, my history, and then these two companies. Capacio Trading is an equity trading and research firm where we trade stocks, ETFs, and REITs. We do primarily short to long-term trading with very little exposure to day trading, which means we're full-time traders. This is how we make our living. We do this every day. In the beginning, we got most of our trade ideas from doing more traditional technical analysis. But like most people, it was taking me hours upon hours to do research on singular stocks. I mean, it got to the point where there just weren't enough hours in the day to analyze all the different stocks that I was interested in looking at. Then I thought, well, okay, wouldn't it be great if there was a system that did most of the technical analysis work for me? A simple system that could tell me if a stock was going to trend up or trend down. And then when the right time to place the trade was. So I didn't have to manually do all the work myself. But at the time, there just wasn't one. So I co-founded Simplicity to develop a system that could. and. After years of hard work, what ended up happening was we had developed a strategy that took almost no time at all to analyze specific securities. I went from doing hours upon hours of research a day to only minutes of research at night. Then people started to hear about what we had created. So we started consulting with high net worth individuals on their trading. We did this for a while when it finally occurred to me or dawned upon me that why were we only sharing this information with a select group of people? Why don't we just make this strategy into a program and then make it available for everyone? So we connected with Metastock and we developed the Endeavor program or add-on, which is what we're gonna talk about here today. So. Let's dive right in. Like I said, we built Endeavor to do the hard work for you, including most of the technical analysis, which is what trips up most people. With Endeavor, you can simply and effortlessly identify the best stocks to trade. So my goal today is to show you how Endeavor can help you do two very important tasks. And then hopefully at the end, you walk away with a strategy they can help improve your trading. So task number one, how to predict the beginning of a substantial upward or downward trend. 
Task number two, how to predict if price is overbought, at a high, and about to fall 5% or more. So, okay, why these two topics? Well, if the falling markets in November and December of 2018 taught us anything at all, it's that we need a quick and easy way to identify when stocks are going to change the direction of their overall trend so that we can tell when a stock is going to stop moving up and then start trending down, which I can guarantee you is going to start to happen faster and faster as time goes on. And since the markets have become more and more volatile as time goes on, I also want to show you an easy way to identify if the price of a stock is at a high and about to fall 5% or more, which for most people would be a fairly large move. This way, you can either short that stock and make money as price falls, or you can potentially sh sell your shares before the stock actually begins to move down. Now, let's start with task number one, how to predict the beginning of a substantial upward or downward trend. We at Simplicity like to think of this as identifying the big picture movement. And this is how it works. It's very simple. After you've selected a security, we categorize price as either endeavor or discovery. The endeavor category represents potential upward trends that could reach their all time highs. And then the discovery category represents potential downward trends that are very likely to consolidate down at their lows. But with these two classifications, you're gonna be able to tell at a simple glance if price is more likely to have an upward or a downward trend. Let's take a look at a couple examples. For today, I picked a stock that everyone's most likely to recognize, Tiffany's, ticker symbol TIF. This seemed like an appropriate choice since tomorrow's Valentine's Day after all. Now, once inside Metastock, all you have to do is type in your ticker symbol and click open. Then once the chart pops up, we're gonna simply add our Endeavor and Discovery template on top of it, which I'll go into more detail on how to do in just a couple of minutes. Then a ribbon is gonna appear on the bottom of your chart. This is gonna identify the category that price is in. We then also place a 100 period simple moving average on the chart to help people see the overall direction of the trend. Now, when the ribbon on the bottom of the chart turns to light gray, that represents the discovery category and lets you know the price is likely to make a downward trend. But when the ribbon on the bottom turns to dark gray, this is gonna represent the endeavor category and let you know the price is likely to have an upward trend. The ribbon on the bottom of the chart not only changes colors to represent the different categories, but also provides text to remind you how the price should move. Now, just so we're all on the same page, every chart that you're gonna to see today is a daily bar chart, which means every bar in the chart represents one singular trading day. This is what we recommend to use daily bar charts when you use the Endeavor add-on. Got it? Okay, moving on. So let's break this chart down and look at price in the individual categories. We'll start with discovery. You can see here when price was in the discovery category, it trended down for months, eventually hitting its low and then consolidating. Or put another way, it traded sideways, not moving up or down, just as you would have expected it to since this is exactly what the discovery category represents. Downward trends with consolidation at lows. You've no doubt heard the phrase, buy low, sell high. Well, now you're gonna be able to tell if a stock is so low down that you should just stay away from it altogether. But then again, 
just because a stack is currently in discovery, it doesn't mean that all hope is lost and you should abandon that security. Notice how then as soon as price enters the Endeavor category, it started moving up. That's because the Endeavor category represents price having the potential upward trends that remember could reach their all time highs. You'll find that stocks make their largest move up when price is in the Endeavor category. Actually, if you look at the bottom of the chart, you can see here that in this case, price moved into the Endeavor category in what September, around $75, and then moved up to $109, which is a 45% increase. In fact, every stock that has ever exceeded its all time high has done so while in the Endeavor category. So for those of you that often ask, how can I tell if a stock is more likely to rise or fall? This here is your answer, the Endeavor and Discovery categories. All you have to remember is what the categories represent. When price is in the Discovery category, you can expect potential downward trends. And then remember, they should then consolidate down at their lows. Then when price is in the Endeavor category, you can expect potential upward trends they could reach their all time highs. And then if you need a little reminder, the ribbon on the bottom has text to tell you what the categories mean. Okay, now I don't know if you noticed, but the example that I was using here on Tiffany's spanned from 2016 through 2018. I used a backdated chart to show you how the Endeavor and Discovery categories have been back tested. And this is not something that will only work in specific market conditions or during specific years. You can bring up any stock and go all the way back to the IPO date and see which category price was in. So let's take a look and see which category Tiffany's is in now in 2019. So remember the last time we looked at this, price was in the Endeavor category, but at $109 in the beginning of 2018. And then, as you can see, it stayed in Endeavor the entire, well, virtually the entire time, moving up to a tie of $140 from 109. But right now, price is in the Discovery category and currently at $89. Now, if we take a look back at the chart, we can see that when price started to fall from its high in September, it was immediately classified as discovery. And we can see that price had its largest multi-month fall in the past two years. So without looking at any indicators, you would have known that price was about to make a long-term downward trend because as you now know, when price enters in discovery, you know it's likely to move down. And if you were then long Tiffany's, you could have sold out and avoided the pain of holding this stock during its massive downward trend. But then again, this is just one stock. So let's take a look at some other examples. This one is Win Resorts, ticker symbol WYNN. Easily one of my favorite casino stocks. And you can see by looking at the bottom of the chart that price entered the Endeavor category in February of 2017 and began a massive move up that lasted about a year and a half until July of 2018 when it entered Discovery and then started its downward trend. Price fell from $180 when it entered into the discovery category to its low of $90. That's a 50% drop in price in just six months. 
Now, granted, the price of wind has rebounded this year along with the rest of the markets, but the run that it's had this year is still nothing compared to the upward trend that it made when price was in Endeavor. Moving from $101 all the way up to 203, which is a 100% move. Now, keep in mind though, I'm not saying that you would have been a part of this entire movement. That would be crazy. The point is here that the price made the move up while inside the Endeavor category. So you would have known the whole time that an upward trend was coming and hopefully you could have taken full advantage of it. The same way you would know, you would have known in July of 2018, that price moved into the discovery category and was likely to make a downward trend. Again, allowing you to exit your position and not have to stay in as the stock was making its largest move down in the past two years. Okay, let's check out another example. Now on this one, already just by glancing at the stock, I'm sure you can see that it is wildly different than the last one. This is Dean Foods, ticker symbol DF. If you buy milk in America, you're most likely buying one of their brands. And although I buy their product, I would not buy their stock. Why? Well, as you can see, it's been in discovery moving down since May of 2017. In fact, even when price was upgraded by Morgan Stanley in January of 18, our system wasn't fooled. It kept price in the discovery category and everyone can see that it then continued to fall. In fact, even with the most recent move up in the markets, Dean Foods hasn't moved up. At best, it's been consolidating since the beginning of the year. And this is an example of a really cheap stock. So people love to look at it. Also, this guy trades over a million shares a day, but it will only rob you of your money if you try to buy into this. Every time you think price is going to move up, it just comes right back down. And now with one simple glance at our ribbon, you can see that price is in discovery and it's been trending down. So we would advise you to stay away from it. Look elsewhere, there have to be better stocks out there. So let's compare this to Spirit Airlines, ticker symbol S-A-V-E. Now, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of trading the airline stocks, but in this case, it's hard to argue with this chart. Price entered into the Endeavor category in July of 2018, and then, as you can see, even when the market started to fall in November and December, price held up and stayed inside Endeavor the entire time. In fact, if we take a closer look here, we can even see that price held up above our 100 period simple moving average, which again, shows us the direction of that trend. And when price stays above it, you can generally go to the bank on that trend being strong, which means if you were in this stack, you would have known not to sell out just because the markets were falling. Now, I'm sure everyone can agree that there is nothing more aggravating in trading than when you sell out of a stack because you got nervous of what the markets were gonna do, and then you have to watch your stack continue to move higher as you wait by the sidelines. But now, hopefully, while using Endeavor, that will never happen to you again. Okay, now let's jump live inside Metastack. What we're gonna do is here is I'm gonna show you how by using the Endeavor scans inside the Metastock Power Console, you can search for stocks that are currently inside the Endeavor category. So you don't have to waste a bunch of time randomly bringing up stocks, hoping that these are in the right category and ready to move up. Since we know Endeavor means stocks should rise, that's the category we're gonna focus on here. Now to do this, all we have to do is come up to the left-hand side of our screen, click on the P, which stands for Power Console. 
We're going to come down here to our Explorer. And first up are all the different reports that come with the Endeavor add-on. There's nine in total. What we're interested in right now is the Endeavor, which when I scroll over it, you can see the definition. Endeavor means potential upward trends. This exploration scans for securities in the Endeavor category, which identifies potential upward trends. Perfect, it's exactly what I'm looking for. Now, once we select this by checking the box, now we need to choose a stock list to actually run the report on. Because remember, MetaStock's gonna do all the work for us. Now, if you don't have custom lists, that's no problem. MetaStock also gives you access to a lot of the exchanges. So for instance here, you can run a report on all 3,107 stocks in the NASDAQ or all 4,677 stocks and the NYSE. At that same token, if you're super interested in ETFs, here's the US ETFs, all 1,555 of them. You are guaranteed to find a stock that's a good trender when using these lists. However, I prefer custom lists. So I have three listed right here. The first one is our client stock list, which we send for free to anyone that's interested in Endeavor. The next one, I made a simple Dow 30 list, followed by the regular stock list that I use of roughly 1,200 stocks. Now, this is a custom list that I put together of stocks that I know like the back of my hand, that I know trend well, that I can follow. So that's what I'm gonna run the report on. Now, usually running a report on just over 1,200 stocks takes maybe two minutes. But to save us from that, I've ran the report already. I ran it yesterday. Now let's pick some stocks. We'll take Abbott Labs, that's first up, which is $75, so no problem. Let's go with a cheaper stock, AFL 48. Those two should work. All right, now we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Now you'll notice that these two stocks look a little different than the examples that I was just showing you. That's because when you open up a stock inside Metastock, you're given the Metastock charts. Our template doesn't automatically apply, but it's super simple to get it. All we have to do is right-click, apply template. We're gonna scroll all the way down. We're looking for the STS Endeavor and Discovery template. This is gonna tell us what category price is in. Now we just ran the report only looking for stocks that are currently in the Endeavor category. So we're already guaranteed that this stock was going to be in Endeavor. The question is, how long has it been there? And does Endeavor work on this security? Now this is Abbott Labs, ticker symbol ABT. I didn't pick this one for any specific reason. It was just at the top of the list. Uh, let's back out here and we can already tell that this stock is a phenomenal trender. Let's just do a little simple analysis. We can look back here in its history and we can see that for October, November, December of 2016, it was in discovery, which means we know the price was either falling or trading sideways. This guy looks to be more trading sideways, just bobbing up and down. I would call that essentially dead money. It's not until late January, early February of 2017 that price pops into Endeavor. We know that because the bottom of our screen turns to dark gray. Also, it tells us Endeavor, we should see an upward trend. And that's exactly what we get here. We get a monster move starting in late January, early February of 2017, and one that is still continuing today. Now this stock has the added bonus of staying above its simple moving average almost the entire time. And that's exactly why our template comes with this 100 period simple moving average, because it is a great definition of trend. If a stock stays above it, again, for the most part, you're always gonna get slight glitches like right here, when price fell from its high, but traded sideways, this stayed in Endeavor the entire time, it hung around that 100 simple and then popped back above it. Again, a simple analysis of this stock shows us that this finds support almost every time on the 100 simple. 
Now we can zoom in and let's do a little analysis on this guy here. I'm going to get rid of the volume bars. In October, November, December of 2018, because this is when the market started to fall. It started in October, picked up steam in November, and then we were all a part of the December crush. So let's mark on here what in October, well, we can use, we'll use the high in November. What would have been the all-time high in this? I'll zoom back down. This perhaps may not be the all-time high, but between 2016 and 2019, it is by far the high. And like I said earlier, anytime a stock is in Endeavor, it's going to be trying to move up and test that all-time high, which we've just labeled right here, meaning that even though this stock held slight pullback from its high in November and December, it's come rocketing back. It stayed in Endeavor the whole time. And what did it do? Yesterday, it made new highs. Not by much, but it made new highs. All right, let's go back to our, all right, so this was the original Metastock chart that we had here on Abbott Labs. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Again, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison on here. The next stock is Aflac, ticker symbol AFL. Once again, this is the normal chart, so I have to apply our template, right-click, apply template. We'll scroll down. We're looking for STS, Endeavor and Discovery Template. Click Apply. Voila. We'll back it up so we can get some definition. And once again, we have a stock that looks like a very nice trender. This looks slightly different than the last stock. Let's, I'm gonna put them side by side one more time. I'm gonna get rid of the original meta stock chart. There we go. So the difference between these two, just right off the bat, when we're looking at relatively the same time frame, is Abbott Labs stayed in Endeavor the entire time. However, if we look at ticker symbol AFL, AFLAC, this one did not. This made slight pushes down into discovery, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly normal for a stock. What stands out to me, just my initial reactions on this, is that when price does fall into discovery, it doesn't waterfall down like the previous examples that we are looking at. This one instead chooses to consolidate, which is fantastic information because we know that every time something falls into discovery, it's gonna do one of two things. It's either gonna waterfall down or it's gonna immediately start to consolidate. So in early 2017, that's what we get, a period of consolidation. Then we move into Endeavor. We see price start to rise. It then falls. In July of 17, comes into Endeavor, but it doesn't, we don't get that waterfall effect here. This just consolidates, pops back into Endeavor. Then October, November, December comes, and we do fall back into Discovery. But just like the initial analysis showed, this doesn't waterfall down. All this does is consolidate, and it generally hangs around our 100 simple, which means you can put this stock on a list or you can, you can put it in a custom list. You can run the Endeavor report every night, and then if and when it pops back into Endeavor, you already know that this stock has a history of trending. So if I zoom in here, if this was something that we were paying attention to, we can see that on 111, looks like it lines up of when price entered back into the Endeavor category. We should see an, long, or, uh, we should see an upward trend start, and that's exactly what we get. Zoom back out here. We'll mark what was the all-time high. Let's get that guy. We'll zoom back in and see as soon as price popped back into Endeavor, we exceeded that all-time high once again. Let's put these two back side by side. And that's as simple as the analysis has to be. When stocks are in the Endeavor category, they have a, and, and they have a history of trending, you can expect them to move up. All right, let's jump back in to our presentation and let's go over the second part of it. 
Now, remember, our first topic was learning how to predict the beginning of, the, of a substantial upward or downward trend, which we just did with our endeavor and discovery categories. So now let's go over our second topic, how to predict if price is overbought, at a high, and about to fall 5% or more. Now, historically, this has been very difficult to predict. But we've designed a signal that's going to alert you at least one day in advance and let you know that price is about to fall. It's part of what we call smart get-outs. The early warning signal. These are represented by red diamonds that will appear above price on your chart. So let's go over the definition. Early warning signals predict potential price dips of 5% or more in approximately 15 days, with a minimum dip of 2%. Now, price will only move down once its trigger point has been crossed. If the trigger point is not crossed, price should continue its original upward trend. Okay, so that's great, but what does it mean? The setup for early warnings are really simple. You're going to get two or more red bars on your chart. That's telling you that price is becoming overextended and that a dip in price is nearing. Then when you see the diamond appear on your chart, that's the early warning signal. We then give you a specific price that if crossed is gonna confirm the signal, letting you know that price will drop. We call this specific price a trigger point. Now these are gonna be located inside the commentary section of Metastock, which I'll show you in just a minute. If price crosses the trigger point, you should see price fall 5% or more, again, it, within approximately 15 trading days. So if you're taking a short position, which means you want the price of the stock to fall, you could make 5% on your money in around 15 days. So let's take a look at an example. This is just energy, ticker symbol JE. And then as you can see, it's been trending down in discovery, or was trending down in discovery in 2018 until about November when the ribbon turned to dark gray representing our endeavor category, but price doesn't move up very far. And then we start getting our red bars. Now, each red bar is alerting us to the fact that price has moved up too fast and is becoming overextended. Then we get our red diamond, which is our early warning signal. When the diamond appears, you're also gonna receive an alert box, reminding us what the early warning signal means. It tells us that the early warning signal occurred, price has become way overextended, red bars, and could dip 5% or more in approximately 15 days if the trigger point is crossed. So we should check early warnings commentary for our trigger point and more information. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. Let's open up our commentary. And here we go. Once again, with the definition of early warning, which we just read, so I think I can skip over. I think the important portion of this is that if the trigger point isn't crossed, the very last sentence, price should continue its original upward trend, which means if price doesn't move down, if it doesn't cross our trigger point, then you can expect price to continue up higher. But in this case, if price doesn't cross the trigger point, that means that price has not fallen and you did not take that short. So you weren't in the trade, no harm, no foul. Let's keep moving down here. Then we have our trigger point, which in this example is $4.13. Now I'll mark this on the chart with a red line so we have a reference point. Then last but not least, we have our price projections. These are going to tell you how far down two and 5% are. So in this case, our 2% dip would bring price down to $4.05, and our 5% dip would go down to $3.92. I'm also gonna mark these numbers on the chart. This time I'll do it with black lines so we can tell the difference. Okay, now we're all set up here. 
If in the next few days, price crosses our trigger point, which remember, that's represented by the red line, our signal will be confirmed and we should see price fall 5% or more. Now, if the markets are trading relatively normal, then you should get a dip of 5%. But if the markets are also falling, then there's a chance you could get a larger movement. And in any case, worst case scenario, price only falls 2%. But let's move forward in time here and see what happens. The next day, we can see that price moves down. It crosses our trigger point. So our signal is now confirmed, which means it's safe for us to take our trade. You can also see here that price has already crossed our 2% line, which means if you took your short, you're already up 2% on your money in one day. The same day you enter that trade is the same day that price pushes down 2%. Now let's move forward in time again. Now it's four days later and price just tanked. I mean, it dropped like a rock, far exceeding our 5% projection. In fact, from the trigger point to the low of this bar is over 16% in a total of five trading days. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. You don't always get moves like this. But like I said before, when the markets are falling and you get early warning signals, you are very likely to get larger than normal movements. Although me personally, when I hit my 5% projection line, I take my money and I run. I'm a big, big believer in the better be safe than sorry. And it's important to keep in mind that there will always be another trade out there so we don't have to make all of our money on one. All right, now that you know how the early warning signal works, how about we jump back inside Metastock and I'll show you how easy it is to run a report and find stocks that currently have early warning signals and could drop 5% or more, again, in around 15 days. So let's get rid of the charts that we were working with before. So we will file, close all. Don't want to save these. We're going to come back up here to our power console. Remember, this is our list of reports. Before we wanted to run a general, hey, which stocks are currently in Endeavor. But this time I'm not interested in that. I'm going to come down here to number eight. Now, if you recall, I said earlier that our early warnings are part of what we call our smart get outs because it's predicting that price will fall. So if we highlight over smart get out dash EW, I'll come off and come back on. We can see that this is our early warning, 5% price dip. This exploration scans for early warning signals, which identify when price has the potential to dip 5% or more in approximately 15 days. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, once again, after we select which report we want to run, then we choose our list. I'm going to use my 1,212 stocks again. And then you can choose any date you want. Now, I've already ran the report, again, just to save us time. And I've backdated this. I went back to 11, 13 of 18, so November 13th of last year. Why did I go back this far? Well, I want to show you one, I wanted to give the stocks enough time to actually create a movement right or wrong so that we can take a look at it. And then I also want to show you months after the move or could be weeks after the move, how price normally trades. Because it's very important with the early warning that we don't get caught up in making a lot of money really quick since everyone knows that price falls faster than it rises. It's important to on average, once you get that 5%, go ahead and jump out. So these are the two stocks we're gonna look at. They're the only two that came up out of my list on November 13th, ticker symbol ATGE, and then ticker symbol SBUX. Now I already have these, oops, I already have these set up inside Metastock. I've already applied our template on there, so we don't have to do that. And then so that we can't see what happens if you move forward in time, I've gone ahead and I've backdated these to the exact day that we ran the report. 
Now we already know, we don't even have to apply anything, that both these stocks have an early warning signal because we just ran the report and that's what they came up in. But let's manually apply the signal. We'll start with ticker symbol ATGE. Back up a little bit on here. We'll come up to our expert advisor. We're gonna apply our STS number seven, smart get out dash EW, which stands for early warning. Hook attach and close. And now we have an alert that we discussed. Early warning occurred, price has become overextended, referencing our red bars, and could dip 5% or more in approximately 15 days if the trigger point is crossed. All right, check early warnings commentary for the trigger point and more information. Great. I'll close this. We can also see if we come up here and scroll over our signal, our symbol, the early warning signal, potential 5% dip. So if one of these pops up on your screen and you can't remember what it is, all you have to do is scroll over it. Now, let's come up here, view expert commentary, and let's get all of our information. Now we've already gone over the commentary, so I'll go over this a little quicker. We know that the top portion here tells us what an early warning signal is, and we know where to go to get our trigger point. Thing that I like to do is usually just verify the date, early warning signal 1113, come over here. Yes, it is 1113, perfect. What's our trigger point? In this case, it's 5746. So let's put a red line on our screen, 57.46. I'm gonna make this red. So we know it's our trigger point. Perfect, next, I'm gonna mark our two and 5% projections. We're gonna make these lines black so we don't confuse them with the trigger point. 56.31 is our 2% projection. And the 5% projection then is going to be 54.59. Again, I'll make this line black, perfect. Okay, so now we're all set up here. We'll go a little bit deeper into the commentary. When we continue to scroll down, we see that we get a little bit more information. This stuff I find super helpful because we are on kind of a time crunch here. We should expect to get our 5% dip in around, this is why we say approximately 15 days. Could be a couple days more than 15, could be a couple days shy of 15. The last example that we showed, we got our money in five days. But it's important to look and check out what the average true range is, right? So average true range is gonna tell you how much each individual bar moves on average. So we can expect in a 15 day average, which is what we're looking for here, that price moves around $1.73. If we take a longer term look, we have your average true range for 120 days, which is roughly six months. That's $1.17, kind of a large difference. This also coincides with the fact it's moving more now than it does on its historical average. Well, these red bars were telling us that price had moved up too fast. They're becoming overextended. Now all this information is starting to line up. Next, we have our volume. It's very important. We don't wanna trade bad stocks that have no volume. This guy is just shy of half a million shares a day. It's been trading more today than it does on its 120 day average, but those two are close enough for my taste. If we continue scrolling down here, we have by far my favorite portion of the commentary. Let's say that you're new to Metastock or you're new to Endeavor and you want more information on the early warning. No problem, all you have to do is click on this link. That's gonna automatically take you to our tutorials website. Once it loads, you're gonna be able to use this to find short and long videos on every signal we offer. So if you wanna watch a video on every signal that Endeavor has, you can watch this video or you can get more specific. You can watch a video on just the Endeavor category and get in-depth information, or you can watch videos on every one of our signals. And if I scroll down here, you can even watch them on the early warning signal. And then we split these into two categories. We have some short five minute long videos 
that it's going to give you kind of a high level information on what the early warning signal does and what you can expect from it. And then if you want a longer, more in-depth version of it, you can click on our beginner's guide tutorials. This one is more around a 15 minute mark and gives a really deep dive into everything that the signals can do. If we scroll back up here. Also, if you're interested, you can also sign up for our Endeavors free quick picks where we send trade ideas every week right to your email. Now, if you want to check out some of these tutorials, because let's say that currently you're not using Endeavor, but you want to learn more about all the signals, that's no problem. All you have to do is go to whatssimplicity.com. Once you're there, at the very top, click on Tutorials. And this brings you to our Tutorials page. Now you can check out everything we have to offer. But let's get back to the main show. OK, quick recap. We've already opened up our commentary. We've set all our lines. I'm going to get rid of the commentary. We know what our trigger point is. If price crosses this, we know that we're good to go with our short trade. And we should expect price to fall 5%, which is our bottom black line. Now let's move forward in time here. I'm going to go forward one month just to keep it easy. Click OK. This is going to retell me that an early warning signal occurred because we move forward in time. That's OK. All right, let's zoom in and see what happened. So we know that on 11.13, we had our early warning signal. We set our line. It looks like the very next day on 11.14, the trigger point was crossed. It's now safe to take our short. One day after that, we cross our 2%. And then we take, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days to move down our 5% but we absolutely hit our projection. And again, this is why we say it takes around or approximately 15 days for this to happen. These don't always happen in five days. They don't always happen overnight. But in this case, we got our 5%, which was exactly what we were looking for. And now price here continued to move down a little bit. So let's jump forward to today, which is 213 of 2019 and let's see where price went so now we get another alert price has entered discovery and is likely to develop a downward trend or experience long periods of consolidation at lows this alert actually occurred on 1228 we're only just getting it now because i moved forward in time to today which means that this stock far exceeded our five percent projection eventually made it all the way down into discovery and then decided to consolidate. But again, I would recommend taking your 5% and moving on to the next stock because why be greedy? Let's go over our next stock, Starbucks. We're gonna blow up the chart. Again, we'll come up here, expert advisor. We wanna attach our early warning. We get our alert letting us know that an early warning occurred. Okay. We'll come up view expert commentary. Move down. We want our trigger point 6682. 66.82. We'll make that line red. OK. Now let's set our 2% line which is 65.49, okay. And our 5% line, 63, well, let's check our color, 63.48, okay. Now we're all set up. We'll get rid of our commentary. And now we wait and see if price crosses our trigger point. So once again, Let's fast forward. We'll go one month. Click OK. 
Ah, isn't this interesting? So I will skip the alert again since I move forward in time. It's reminding me that there was an early warning on 11.13. But we already know that because we're in the middle of that trade. So I went forward one calendar month, which is different than trading days. So here was our original early warning at 11.13. The next day, we can see the price did cross the trigger point. So that's day one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the eighth day, we cross our 2%. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 days. And we still have not made our 5% projection. But remember, we say approximately 15 days. So we have to move forward one more time. Uh, let's try the 20th. Okay. Ah, there we go. So in this case, it takes, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 days. But you absolutely get your 5%. So this one took a little bit longer than I'd prefer, but you were right in the direction of this movement overall. Now, on top of that, this is why I say, well, you know what, let's, let's also move forward to today, 2.13 of 2019. And we'll look what happened to ticker symbol SBUX, which happens to be Starbucks. Now, we were right in our short-term direction of this trend. We had our early warning signal, and this early warning signal didn't say the price was going to dramatically fall apart. It did not say the price was going to drop 25 or 50 percent. It said that we were going to have a dip in price, potentially 5 percent. And then that's exactly what happened. But we stayed in Endeavor this entire time. And although price fell, we stayed above our simple moving average. So this was not going to be a trade where you were going to get a 20% dramatic fall, where CNBC, everyone on there was going to be talking about this. They very often don't talk about 5% pullbacks like this, but now you have a way to take advantage of them. And if you didn't want to short this stock, you still, let's say you were long this stock. Let's say in the middle of September, when price popped into Endeavor, you went long. You're in a very nice upward trend, which to be honest, very rarely happens with Starbucks. But since midway through September, we'll call it October, this guy's been trending up. It's been staying above our simple moving average beautifully, and it's been an endeavor the entire time. So although we knew the price was going to come down 5%, there was no reason to think, there's no reason to stay in that short-term trade for any longer than we had to, because Nine times out of 10, this is exactly what happens with early warning signals. Price bounces back, which is why we call it a dip in price. And there you have it. That's as simple as it's going to get. If you want a way to make 5% on your money, then all you have to do is run the early warning report and follow those simple steps. Get out of here. Now, like I said before, the Endeavor add-on does have more than just the early warning signal. There are actually seven signals in total, but the most popular ones, of course, are the early warning signal, which we just went over, then our green signal, which predicts long-term trends, our blue signal, which predicts short-term trends, and finally, our black signal, which predicts rebound movements back to recent highs. If you want more information on a specific signal, like we talked about before, all you have to do is go to whatsimplicity.com and then you can check out any of those things on the tutorial page. There you'll find the short videos as well as the in-depth tutorials on every single signal that's in Endeavor. And now for the question that's on everyone's mind, this is great, but what's it gonna cost? Surprisingly, not that much. The Endeavor add-on is offered as a subscription service through Metastock. So it's only $99 a month. And right now we have a special, if you buy one month, you're gonna get one month for free. 
So that's two months for the $99. And regardless of if you go with us today or you have more questions on this, you can always send us an email. We like to say, don't be shy. Just shoot us an email at about at simplicitytradingsystems.com and we'll get back to you within one day. Also, remember if you wanna sign up for our free quick picks, all you have to do is go to whatsimplicity.com and at the bottom of any page is the sign up form. Then you'll get trade ideas sent right to you every week, all from our Endeavor program. Okay, now I'll turn it back open over to Jeff. We'll open the floor for some questions, but I do want to thank everyone for taking the time out of your day for attending this webinar. Hey, Ryan. All right, so we don't have a lot of expen uh, 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 questions. Uh, Saunders came in earlier and asked what constitutes overextended and what does that term mean? Sure, so let me go back in here. See if we still have our examples. We do, just for this, I'll get rid of these lines. So we consider, I'm not a big fan, as I'm sure now everyone can tell, of the manual work on it. So our algorithm already, it rips through here and it tells us, hey, price has moved up too far, too fast. The bars are always going to be parabolic when that happens. Now, how parabolic? I don't decide that. That's what the algorithm does. And every time then you see those things begin to go parabolic, you get those red bars. And that's when we say, okay, now price is overextended. As soon as that peaks out, that's when you'll get your early warning signal. And then nine times out of 10, if I was to back up here, this is going to be a, a relative high, exactly. Okay. Okay. So if I showed uh, we... on Star, that was Starbucks. If we showed the other example, again, if I was to zoom out here, I can guarantee you that's a relative high because that's when price is going to be the most overextended. Okay. Um, let's see. Masad wants to know if it works in Forex. Uh, it doesn't. I, I would not recommend using it in Forex. We recommend stocks. ETFs and REITs, things that, that have the ability to move longer term than currencies. All right, very good. Uh, uh, Bruce Bigman says, uh, thank you very much. I wanna say thank you very much as well. And uh, thanks for everybody that came today. Absolutely, and then thoughts, remember, right? yeah, well, if anyone has any questions, if they, uh, I think there will be a recording of this video sent out to everyone that signed up for it. So maybe two days from now, something dawns upon you, please send me an email. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, thank you again, Ryan, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. All right. Talk to you guys soon.